In the previous video, I show you how to create copies of objects from the scene or prefabs. We saw a couple overloads of the instantiate function. You have that video in the description and here in the corner if you want to check it for more details. In this case, we're going to see two ways to create a copy of a game object as a child of another game object. Subscribe to support this content and let's start solving this problem. I will need a moment to explain what I have here. We created a script and assigned it to an empty game object and inside the script we defined a game object variable and drag in the inspector the prefab of the object you want to clone. We also define a game object to place the new copy at a certain position. Then inside start we use the instantiate function to create the object and we also saw that the instantiate function returns the new object so we can store it in a game object variable and use it. That's all we did and to fully understand this I suggest you check the previous video and try to repeat what I did. Now let's create a new game object variable to store the object we want to be the parent object. Let's call it for example parent object. In Unity we are going to create an empty game object and drag it to this variable in the inspector. You can use another object if you want. One way to create a game object as a child of another game object is using an overload of the instantiate function. In particular, one that requires that you pass two game objects, the object you want to clone and the object you want to be the parent. You pass those parameters separated by comma. If you run this, you will see that the new object is a child of the object stored in the parent object variable. Another way to create an object as a child of another object is the following. In the previous video, we defined a local game object variable and stored in it the result of the instantiate function. Now, you can use that variable to assign it the parent object. To do so, we use the variable, with the dot operator we access to the transform component and with another dot access to the parent. We'll make this variable equal to the transform of the object we want to be the parent, like this. If you run this, like before, you will see that the new object is a child of the other object. Subscribe to this channel so we can see each other again in the next video.